everyone hears about lag. There you go, lag for power and everything like this. I mentioned about throwing a ball. If you throw a ball and it, or if you throw a club or something underarm, you're going to create perfect lag. It's just when we think too much about what we're doing, we, we sort of default and try and like it just gets too complicated and we get in our own ways. Whereas if we, um, you know, just make things simple, we're not going to get our own way and you're going to create lag naturally. But this drill with the wall, just taking a, a, the butt end of your club, I mean, it doesn't matter what club you've got, uh, standing, you know, alongside it here, um, and I'm about a foot, foot and a half away, and I make, I'm getting to the top of my back swing like so, and I'm sort of loading into the right side, I'm making sure I'm getting a good sort of shoulder turn, and now I'm just going to make an action towards back down to the, back down to the ball. But I'm not going to try and default at the ball, I'm not going to try and come over the top. I'm going to try and keep this butt of the club connected to the wall for as long as possible as I'm sort of pulling down. But it's not just with the hands, so my back isn't at the target. I'm just making a nice smooth movement back down to the ball, and then I release through. So it's that sort of sensation. And the more kind of lag that you perhaps you want to feel, let's say, you just nudge yourself a little bit closer. A little, so I'm just about here, and then we pull down, and then release through. I'm just clipping a radiator here, but you know, we, without the radiator, it'd be a little bit better. But you can see that that sort of nice position I'm getting, and it's you know it's not about force. I'm not trying to sort of lock myself into a position. It's just letting it glide and make that nice rotation, and then swing through. And that's going to give you a nice sensation. So if you do have a chance to swing like full swing if your roof allows it you'll feel that you know that nice sort of lag position where you're just pulling it down that delayed natural thing without rushing to the ball that's it because we're not trying to hit it harder more distance and more speed is what people want but the problem is as soon as you make it about hitting harder you're toast completely it has to feel effortless and this drill really does encourage that nice timing an effortless feel just as if you were on a swing or something it's just effortless so you just use the club swing down start the sequence and release